Hi, this is Ben Ivey, the Fulfillment Artist, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can dominate self-awareness. Now, this is probably one of my favorite topics to speak about, and I'm give you the best golden nuggets that I know. I'm going to go through different scenarios, and I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to have so much more self-awareness that you're going to start to shift your life incredibly quickly. If you imagine that most people in their lives forget to be self-aware, so what usually happens is they go along and then they hit something, are aware that something's wrong and then change. But it's usually something drastic that forces them to change in a different direction. So uh, with today, what I wanted to do is to give you some tangible things that you're going to go off and do that is going to help you understand yourself, your strengths, your weaknesses and everything that you need to do so much more. So the first thing is your strengths. In order to understand your strengths, we have to look into different tests that there are online, right? So I want you to have a look at the DISC test, okay? So D-I-S-C. You want to have a look at Myers-Briggs as an example. You want to look at all these different types of personality tests so that you can start to understand exactly what your strengths are and, and where you could focus yourself. Uh, another one would be Strengths Finder, right? So you start doing those and that's going to help you understand yourself. Next. You want to be looking into business tests as well. Uh, one that I think is very, very good is uh, Wealth Dynamics, looking into your pattern as a business owner or entrepreneur, like where are you on the, dy on the Wealth Dynamics? And the second thing is the key person and keep on oh, wow the key person of influence test uh, this is really cool because it allows you to break down an understanding of yourself and where you are into different categories and how how to shift yourself by working on a specific area be it you know your partners uh, be it your profile or something like that really really cool to check out next your weaknesses you must become aware of your weaknesses I know what my weaknesses are graphic design uh, accounting marketing loads of things that I just don't like doing building funnels oh my god right there's lots of things that I know I'm not good at now previously when I wasn't self-aware what I would do is I would focus and spend a lot of time on these areas that is not good instead you want to really focus on your strengths the analogy that I'll give you is that if you imagine you're a warrior we don't want to be fixing the tiny little chinks in your armor we want to be building you a big weapon that you can specialize and then you can go out and you can destroy people as the example right um, now with that said uh, something that I will say is that there are seven things that you should do in your business and nothing else if you can define what those seven things are and you know exactly what you need to focus on I promise you your life will completely change because you know what you're good at you focus on your strength you're very self-aware and you start to really shift your life moving forward it's incredible next thing questions questions are amazing for self-awareness you need to ask yourself questions on a consistent basis looking into different areas of your life so you can start to understand reflect and see how to really shift your life moving forward an example is going to be weekly questions that you could ask yourself at every single talk one of the one of the most important things that I usually ask attendees to do is to ask them a series of questions ask yourself a series of questions every week now this helps you stay on track and all these micro adjustments help with your awareness and you can start to move forward in a very different way that most people aren't used to because most people don't ask themselves questions or think about things on a regular basis you just wait until something's wrong and you fix it that's not the way to have a sensational life the way to have a sensational life is to know what you're doing well and tweak it so you're doing even better as well as progressing in all the different areas that you have the last thing that I'm going to say for self-awareness is you need a daily system. You need something that you can look at every single day that helps you to just question and just realize your thoughts. You know, what was great today? Um, what would I do differently? Right? And I, I mean, I have my daily ULM. You guys, if you've watched these videos for a while, you know the system that I use. And it's, the, like, it, it's just amazing to have all these micro adjustments. And what, what I do in a year makes me feel like I've done it in 10 years because there's just so many different things that I'm doing in all these different areas that everything is collectively moving forward. It's really cool. So with that said, I know I gave you a lot of content there. You may want to rewatch the video, take some notes or go do the tests that I've asked you to do. I'd also recommend as a must, please, do these weekly questions that's going to be brilliant to help you move forward think about where your strengths are how you can apply them 
And actually one more thing that I'll give you is identity capital. This is something that most people don't think about and aren't really aware of, and that is identity capital is the skills that you need to develop in order to become the person that you want to be. If you understand those skills and you can start to be aware exactly what you need to do in order to progress, I promise your life is gonna shift dramatically because you're gonna understand exactly what you need to do in order to start to move in a direction where you've got the skills, you know what you need to work on, you understand your strengths, you'll just start to shift your life completely. Um, with that said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Share it with people that you think will benefit. And uh, I look forward to speaking to you very soon.